All right, it's a familiar stretch of Clear Creek. But the flows are like 500. Close to that, you know, you can still fish when the water gets high, just gets harder. So I am gonna come down and rip streamers along the banks. There's a couple people upstream of me. So we'll leave them in that space. I'll probably just jump straight down and fish these pools, go down until I get, uh, I'm gonna get blocked. There's gonna be a certain point where I either have to cross or I run out of water. Uh, but we'll start with that and then we'll go somewhere else. But haven't fished high water, I've been fishing still water lately, been fishing headwaters. But today we're gonna rip some streamers down Clear Creek banks and see what we can get. So, should be fun. Got the five weight out, which I don't fish in streams very often. Uh, but for streamers, it'll be just about perfect. All right. Green woolly. I've actually got a prince tied on behind it. I started trailing woolies a little while ago because it was working in lakes and some streams. But essentially all we're doing is we're gonna chuck it in the fast water, feed line out, and then bring it back through anywhere where I can find slack. Anywhere. There, hit it again. <sighs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. A little longer, very skinny, but a little longer at least. Let's see, bud. There's one. Just kind of set that in there. Slow pulled him in. He hit the prince. So I'm sure the prince was just drifting. But fish is a fish. Here's a closer look at what the water looks like at this flow. It's ripping for sure. Definitely ripping. Oh, that was a big fish. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Ah, that's a good one. But I think I missed him on the streamer and foul hooked him. I'm going in the river. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's a major bummer that I missed him on the that I missed him on the streamer and caught him with the nymph. But he totally tried to eat the streamer. Oh, he's big so he's got some energy. We'll win this one. Oh come on buddy. You suck fish. Come on baby. There we go. Oh I almost ended up in the water because of you. Oh, you're nice. It's definitely got the red under there. Looks almost like a cut bow. Nice looking fish there. There's his gills. It's just a pretty, pretty bow. Like I said, it's a major bummer that I hooked him instead of catching him on the streamer but we'll take it probably wouldn't have died it was just 
I was gonna get to take a swim. And you try not to take a swim when the flow's above 400. <laughs> That was fun though. Oh, that's a good one. The better, ah, he's kind of small, but he just feels big in the current. Oh, I've got two! I've got two! Ah, that's why it felt so big. I've got, I've got one on the streamer, and I've got one on the nymph, but now I've, now I've got, ah! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's so cool. Literally so cool. All right, we'll get the little one off first because he's on the top fly. So sweet. All right, little brownie. See you, bud. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Nice. Oh. And then a little better brown. Oh, see you, bud. <laughs> oh, that was so cool. Two for one, man. I'm pretty sure the small one ate that first, and then after he brought it down, the big one went and got the prints. Oh, that was so cool. I had a good time out here checking streamers in Clear Creek. It was, it's a lot of fun. When they hit the streamers, they hit it pretty hard and it's usually pretty aggressive, even in the faster current. Uh, it was awesome. Got those two for one on camera. Steven did that once last year, but uh, we didn't catch it on camera and it was still cool. I mean, it was, it was just awesome. I mean, we had a great time and can't beat another day on the water. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah. Hey. Hey, on the prints again. Sorry, bud. Little brownie. See you, buddy.